Okay, welcome to the Front Runner Football Podcast. Uh, as we've all seen the the Kev Champions League draw, now we're going to 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 get a reaction all the way from from Tanzania. Uh, Dar es Salaam. We're joined by Jeffrey Leia, who who works for E for E EFM in out there in 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 Dar es Salaam. Uh, Jambo uh, habari yako, uh, Jeffrey. Mm. No, 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 no. How are you, sir? I'm very fine, my friend. How are you? Ah, very well, thank you. Ah, welcome, welcome. Quick one. Overall reaction to the draw. Um, there's a there's a there's a bit of a positive reaction because uh, most of the Simba fans are very bullish. They are very uh, confident with their team, and it's for quite obvious reasons. We've all seen what they've done in this season's uh, CAF Champions League. Very good results, very good performances from uh, multiple players in their team. A very fine job uh, from their French manager, Didier Gomez da Rosa. And you know what? There's a bit of a wrong perception with uh, most of uh, uninformed Simba fans who would think that Kale Chiefs may be the weakest of the teams that qualified in this year's uh, CAF Champions League quarterfinals. And I would tell them that that is a bit misguided because Kaiser Chiefs is still a very good team. But hey, you know, people decide what they feel, people decide what they think, and people decide what they know. And the Simba fans, they are happy because if they would have chosen anybody, they would have chosen Kaiser Chiefs because in the knockout stages of this, uh, of the cup, uh, tournaments. Tanzanian teams have not been doing very well against the North African teams. So everybody thought that Simba would do best to avoid the two other Algerian teams that it could have faced. And yeah, so everybody is positive about Kaiser Chiefs. Let's talk more about Simba. Simba did very well in the qualification phases of the Cape Champions League. They topped the group and they managed to beat uh, Al Ali at home, and they lost to Al Ali only in the in the whole qualification process. What are your What are your thoughts on on that? It was a bit of a shock issue to me because um, I, I really didn't expect that Simba would uh, have the mantle to top the group. I would have maybe given a, given them a 50-50 chance of getting out of the group, but not at the number one spot, not with the amount of points that they accumulated in the whole process. So for me, it was a bit of a shock, and I really didn't give them a very positive uh, prediction in most of my programs, in most of my uh, interactions with a lot of fans. I thought it was going to be a bit of a tough uh, time for the new coach. But you know what? Uh, they've done really well, and that's what happens when you have a good, uh, a good crop of players, which is what Simba have. Uh, the likes of uh, Klatus Chama, the likes of Jose Luis Mikison, the likes of uh, Chris Mugalu, uh, the Congolese striker, and even a few of the local players like the goalkeeper, uh, Aishi Manula. They've really stepped up to the plate, and they've done beyond most of what uh, we expected, really. So I think uh, the fans are obviously confident because of that. Okay, not sure if you are following the, the PSL of South Africa. What what have you observed? Of, you do, ah, that's great. So considering where Kaiser Chiefs are right now, but in the Champions League, they, they you know it's like the, it's like it's two different teams. In the Champions League, they show up, but in the league in South Africa, they, they don't show up. Does that do you think that will concern Simba? Well, not most people would really know much about the real quality of Kaiser Chiefs, and I'm here to school them on that because uh, sometimes the league table doesn't tell the exact truth. And for South African football in the PSL, we all know that uh, Kaiser Chiefs were really strangled hard with that transfer ban. It's what really tied Gavin Hans' hands and limited what he could use as far as uh, the, the day in marathon of a league in the PSL is. But you know what? The fixture that comes in quite kindly in the CAF Champions League, where you have a bit of a space between games, has given Gavin Hunt a cushion to plan for what he might do, the kind of players he, he can use in the CAF Champions League. And I think at the end of the day, they made a bit of a bold decision to that. They are not going to achieve a very uh, good uh, position in the PSL. So maybe they try to go as far as they can in the CAF Champions League. I'm going to tell you one thing, that Kaiser Chiefs still remain 
to be a team uh, with very good quality. They, they have a striker uh, with the capabilities of Samir Nukovic. They have Leonardo Castro, who we all know very well. They have Kama Billiard, who uh, I'll remind everyone who cares to listen that in this season's CAF Champions League, he's only played one game. So he's going to be really, really striving to show people what uh, he can do with this Kaiser Chiefs team. So, and Kaiser Chiefs are a bit of a new team in this uh in this current climate of uh, CAF football. They've never been to the quarterfinals before of the CAF Champions League. So they're going to be really up for it. And Simba won't meet uh, a dying horse. You know what I'm saying? They, Itumelang Kune still remains to be one of the finest short stoppers in this continent. Uh, Ramalu Mfalele remains one of the best uh, right backs in the, in the PSL. They have uh, excellent players going forward. So Kaiser Chiefs are going to give Simba a run for their money. And I'm not going to join the bandwagon in those who think that uh, Simba are going to beat Kaiser Chiefs uh, easily. This is a game that uh, stands on a 50-50 scale for me. Anybody can win. Uh, knowing Tanzania, they could let the fans into the stadium. We're not sure about South Africa. Do you think that will have an impact on the on the game, specifically in TZ? Yeah, it's gonna ha- it's gonna have an impact of some sort. But uh, you know, uh, some players will switch on and switch off because of the kind of position or the kind of uh, competition uh, that they are facing. So. I'm quite sure it's not going to trouble Kaiser Chiefs players so much because most of them are seasoned professionals who, have, who are well-traveled. You know, you have the likes of Leonardo Castro who's played in uh, all the leagues in South America. You have Samir Nukovic who comes from all the way from Serbia. These are players who wouldn't be well faced by um, the fact that there are going to be a few hundreds of uh, thousands of fans in the Dar es Salaam National Stadium. You can only imagine what happens in the... Serbian derbies between teams like Red Star Belgrade, Partizan Belgrade, and all that. Uh, these are things that uh, really prepare a player like Samir Nukovic. We all know how, how much fiery the games in countries like Colombia, where Leonardo Castro comes from. So this, this is not going to be a problem to Kaiser Chiefs uh, players. They are well, they're going to be well prepared for that, I believe so. Very cool. And in other small matters, we saw Al Ali draw Mamelodi Sundowns. Just your initial thoughts. Well, I mean, it's a big one. It's uh, it's going to be a tough one because uh, the Pizzo Mosimane uh, really inflicted some uh, some 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 wounds to Al Ali. That's that was a few months before he actually joined them. Everybody remembers that five nil uh, victory that Sundowns had on. Al Ahli, but Al Ahli remain to be a very, uh, very good side. They're very formidable, and I remind everyone that Mamelo Di Sundowns haven't exactly been having a very good ride of late. You know, uh, they've not uh, had a win in what, like uh, three or four games. They got knocked out in the uh, in the Netbank Cup. Uh, they drew the last time in the league. They also got beaten to everybody's shock by uh, Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, I realized this weekend they they are playing us. Uh, I'm a I'm a Bacania, Orlando Pirates, and who knows what's going to happen then. So I believe Pizzo Mosimane is going to smell blood, and we don't have to remind anyone that Pizzo Mosimane literally signed everybody that's playing at Sundowns right now. But the few players like Peter Shalulile and uh, the rest who joined uh, just the uh, the other day. So he knows all about my melody Sundowns, Ahlis, and uh, quality side. And you'd agree with me uh, that Al Ahli would feel like they are meeting a melody sundowns right at the right moment when they're having a bit of a dip. No, 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 no. It's true. It's true. Uh, and Pirates, they'll be facing uh, Raja. Thoughts? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it's a real conundrum for me because I'm torn between being a fan and being uh an expert on, on this one i mean i don't think pirates are going to stand much of a chance uh, against raja casablanca and i only have evidence on the uh, past few games where i've seen orlando pirates i mean uh, the last game that uh, we played mamelo de sundowns he wasn't so good for us not so sure what's going to happen uh, the next time we play them in the psl uh the game against Enimba was not a good one the other game against setif was also not a good one uh Orlando Pirates tend to switch on and off so much, and uh, I really don't think they're going to be a very tough challenge for Raja Casablanca, who I think uh, are my favorites to win the CAF Confederation Cup. 
having suffered the embarrassment of being knock, knocked out in the uh, CAF Champions League as early as they did, with everybody re uh, remembering the fact that they met, they made it all the way to the uh, finals last season. So uh, they are going to right their wrongs with what happens in the CAF Confederations Cup. And I don't think Orlando Pirates stands any chance, to be honest. Wow, that's a, that, that was very clear and concise. Okay, cool. Now let's put your your head on the block. Kaiser Chiefs, Simba, who's going through to the next round? Um, look, it's going to be a tough one. Um, the fact that neither team has gotten out of this state before is going to make this a really, really cr uh, crunchy uh, tie. And... A lot of uh, my fellow Tanzanians are gonna hate me on this, but I'm gonna give the nod to Kaiser Chiefs. I think uh, every team will win in their home turf. The slight edge that I'm gonna give to someone, I'm gonna give it to Kaiser Chiefs because of the kind of uh, experienced uh, players they're gonna be having for precious situations like this. People are gonna uh, forget the fact that Leonardo Castro was part of the Mabelo de Sundowns team that won the CAF Champions League. So Kaiser Chiefs might be inexperienced, but Leonardo Castro is experienced in a situation like this. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs may not be experienced, but Samir Nukovic is experienced of situations like this, which is why I give the slight advantage to Kaiser Chiefs.